Okay. So I'm back trying to do another one of these Fat Fingers demos. Um, trying to get my get some fig into a situation that I can just clean up so, to one that I can work with so I can start using real packages and things. Uh, one of the most important things that I need to get working is spelling. So let's get back into Emacs. Oh, wait. Up, oh, it's not going to start right. One second. I didn't start the server. So what I'm doing now is, uh, I'll probably get into this later, I'm using a, um, where'd it go? I'm using uh, the Emacs server so I can get back in and keep the session running. And I can do things on the other screen to copy paste and nice things like that. So. Uh, so the command line options I'm doing now, C is connect to the server that I've got running, and NW is not to try and run it in an X window session. Okay, so let's get into um, init.org. I think I actually. Okay, so now we're talking about spelling and linting. Um, so one of the problems is that now I don't have. I don't have spell check working. So this has been a problem. I ran spell check before and I didn't have it. Uh, I had a lot of errors. So one thing that you can do is there is a, a built-in spell check. So you don't need to answer. So you can do I spell. And it shows me all the, the spelling checks that I have and then I can go through and replace this. But this isn't, I mean, maybe this is a better way to do it, but that's not. Right. So I'm control G, I got out of there. And wait, let's get our um, a command log running. And so yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got going here. Now, these things are obviously spelled wrong, but there is a nice package. Um, that is called Fly spell, so which is actually built into Emacs. I think it's fly spelled like that, but let's check it out. Control H, describe package and fly spell. Yeah, so fly spell. You can see there's some other packages that help it. So fly spell and that will give me fly spell. Ensure we we already have ensure true set up above. And let's, this will make sure that we have it installed, which is already installed. Uh, but there's some other things that we want to, it's actually, it's not running yet. See that we don't have our, here are these things should be marked as, as misspelled. So you can run it with fly spell mode, spell. And you see it marks these words as not spelled. So then here I can, with control, I can open up the spell checking here and I can pick one. So let's say that was supposed to be ADV, I hit A close. But what I can also do here is with Alt tab, hopefully it's gonna work, and it'll run through all the completions. Now, I'm a awful speller, so I need always to have fly spell turned on. So we can use something which is called a hook uh, hook. Any time that I am in a a text mode, I want to have a uh, fly spell turned on. Now, and it goes something like this. Let's get this into a dedicated buffer. Let's see. Oh, get my here and okay. Now, what do we want? Hooks and hook. You can t either tell it um, just a, a specific major mode that you want it to run with, 
or you can tell it which command you want it to run. But here we have a special command that I want to run. I want with um, text mode. Text mode. And I want it to run fly spell mode. Spell mode. We get all the complete working next. Okay. Now what second is going to do is first I need to make sure that my parentheses are lined up. Is this is going to make sure that we have anytime that we go in any kind of text mode file, and we will it's going to automatically turn on fly spell mode. So let's get that. Let's run that. Uh, what did I do? It's not. Uh, oh, why is hook not a good? Because it's not like this. It's the other way. Right, right. Okay. So let's go. If we go into a different, just make some stupid text file. Uh, slash temp test dot text txt. And this is a text, and you see down in the in the mode line that it says fly. So now we have fly spell is running. But what it didn't do is let's open like a I don't know um, a PHP file. This one, so I can do. And now I don't have any of it. Now what I really should would like to have is that in in my comments, to check. And that obviously we can also do. So let's kill this buffer. Don't need that. And let's kill you too. And we're back here. Let's see. Now that's going to come into prog mode. So we want to say when we're in prog mode, mode, which is short for programming mode, and we want to use there's a fly spell prog mode. And that is going to run programming mode for fly spell. Okay, so let's go, let's try our opening our test PHP again. See, it's a new file this time. So, and here we got this something, I don't know. So it doesn't test the variables or methods. What I will do is if I do a comment, Oh, now we got spell checking working in our, and I think it also works in strings, but I'm not sure. Yep, also works in strings. It would be nice if it works in variable names because I always make mistakes spelling variable names. Okay, oh, that we don't need. Yep, let's kill this buffer. Okay, that looks good for getting fly spell working. So. Let's get back to our org mode file and save. Uh, let's do a let's commit these changes. Oh, well, that's a weird. I have a nil file there. Fly spell. Okay. Commit. Ah, see, we already don't have that. Now, let's see. Fly spell. That's right. Let's leave it like that. Okay. There's ways to add it to your dictionary, but I'm going to save that for another chunk. Um, now, we saw in PHP, before I was writing bad code. And that we want here is we want something that is lint. We want live linting of our code to make sure you saw before that I also made a mistake in my Lisp code. So it should have given me some kind of error. So. There is a package called flycheck. This is something that I'm going to um, I'm going to be running all the time. So, same thing, using use package, uh, Emacs Lisp. So we want to again use package, and what this is is uh, fly check, 
and you would usually if you want to make sure this installed you this ensure but because we have it set to always ensure we don't need that and and let's just run this to make this work cat load fly check that's weird Maybe I don't have insure actually. Oh, I had in global insure. So I think global. Let's see insure true there. Why that happened? I have no idea. I see it's now it's loading everything. Now I have it installed, which was very strange. Okay. <coughs> So now we have fly check mode installed and let's do something weird here. Let's turn it on first and do it fly check mode and it's turned on fly check mode and it knows that we are in using elisp. Oi! And what do we get right away? White space found at the end of the line. That's not good. So let's get rid of that. What other arrows do we have here? Now it says it needs to have these footers. We don't need them here, so we could disable this. We shouldn't disable this, but for now we're just going to leave it. We'll mark ourselves the two booth that. You see here it tells us that we have our unmatched parentheses. So if I would do the, what it was the thing that I did before, I did hook like that before. Oh, what's wrong with this hook? White face found the end line. Oh, should, should have told me that the hook is not a good variable, but whatever. So these each each language you're going to need to set it up, and you need to look at the um, the documentation for the languages. But what we want to do is, I want this, what I had before is I have it set up for global fly check mode. That I don't want to do. I want it to use, um, I want to use a hook. So hook, hook what I did, it's prog mode. mode. I'm not like that, like this, and then prog mode, and I wanted to do, actually that's all I need to, need to do, and then it should enable for me fly check mode whenever I go to, what is it? Ha. Ah. No, no, no. Okay. Now let's go back to our PHP file. So he didn't. He wasn't able to load it up, but you see that it did try to use fly check here on PHP. Let's see if it. No. It will usually give me the arrows, and you can jump through your arrows in the files. Okay, so we got prog mode starting up with the hook, but I want to see that when I load up a text file, here we don't have prog mode up. So let's see. Yeah, you see, we just have uh, that's a text mode, and that we are using. Uh, fly spell. Let's go back to that PHP buffer just so I can show you that. Um, was it test the PHP? No, it didn't. Ah, fly check because it's not fly check. That's why. So you get to see some debugging here. Um, see what buffers we got open here. We got org source. That's what I want. Uh, so he tried to run fly check, and this one we want fly check. Check uh, mode, and it should be like this. And let's just put those at the end here. And okay, that should work. Now let's go back to this, and we'll kill him. Sure. 
So it, it adds an extra hook in there. So if we um, take a look at our hooks for, let's just add a fly check. Load. So it was enabled. Now it's enabled. Let's see if it's gonna do me some kind of anything here. See, you see that fly check has given me an error here. Let's see what error it says. Syntax error, can unexpected end of file. Wonderful. So equals test. And now it works. And there are some other linters that you can install when I get to installing PHP. We'll talk about that, that we can add, that we can do some code style checks and do warnings and things like that. So, um, see if it runs an undefined function, maybe. No, uh, no, it doesn't give me errors for undefined function. It's just pretty much doing that our code is, that we have correct code. So let's say if we did something like that, now we have an un, uh, unexpected semicolon and we can do like something like this which is also not valid code it should tell me here that I have yeah that's unexpected so if we can dot them together right yep okay so that's that now let's get back to our here and I want to add a to do so fly check is doing a uh, fly spell we are done with I spell we're done with shift doesn't work and maybe in this terminal run and fly check still I want to do here um, Don't complain about this code snippet. Now that's not good spelling. Let's see. Snippets. How would you spell snippets? No. Snippets. Wonderful. Okay, so that's for inline linting, and I'm going to mark this to do as done. I'm going to leave this empty. So it's not done, but when I go back, I can look at, I can do, um, make this a sparse buffer and just see all my to-dos, so it'll show up under fly check. Let's make this a bit cleaner. Let's go back to my, okay. Okay, great, wonderful. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take a look and see why the the um, insure mode didn't the insure always insure didn't work. It should have, and I will get back. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, so, yep, that's it. Bye. How do I stop recording now? No.